text. Maybe you can have it, but I have the NIH version already. Verse 10, chapter 12. And I will pour out on the house of David and the inhabitants of Jerusalem a spirit of grace and supplication. They will look on me and one they have pierced, and they will mourn for him as one mourns for an only child, and grieve bitterly for him as one grieves for a firstborn son. The second um, scripture reading is Psalm 55, verse 17. And it says, um, Evening, morning, and noon, I will cry out in distress, and he hears my voice. Amen. That's David. Evening. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17. Pray continually. And then Hebrew 5, 7, that says, During the days of Jesus' life on earth, he offered up prayers and petitions with fervent cries and tears to the one who could save him from death. And it was hard because of his reverent submission. Amen. Inspirational message for effective prayer. All round progress is the will of God for our lives. Therefore, in our journey to greatness and to heaven, we encounter myriads of trials, troubles, difficulties, and dire situations that we need the power of prevailing and persistent prayers to escape and overcome. Luke 21, 36 says, Be always on the watch and pray that you may be able to escape all that is about to happen, that you may be able to stand before the Son of Man. Brethren, when I was reading this, yesterday when we uh, complete, concluded the, um, uh, the prayer meeting yesterday, I went home, was breaking my fast, and it's, let me turn the TV on, breaking news. That was the story of the... Um, the U.S. now claiming that they were the one responsible for the killing of the um, general, uh, Soleimani, from I Iran. I, 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 I was just like, what is happening? But first time I was afraid that there's going to be a war. Because it's, it's the, now they, are going to, they said they're going to retaliate. There are some states that are on the watch. And I was looking at the news today. D.C. is one of them. I wrote it down. D.C., New York, Miami, Los Angeles. They have their cities on alert. They have now, they have the FBI, the police, they are, they are increasing their watch over them. Then as I was listening to it, Psalm 27 verse 1b came to my mind. 127 verse 1b. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the guards stand watch in vain. So we have to pray. You can say, because now the, the, the military the intelligence, they have confidence that they have more ammunition, whatever, over them. But God can act in any way. In any way. But we have to cry unto the Lord and pray. You know. Okay, let's continue. Go forward is the eternal message of God to his people. God wants us to go forward in every area of our lives because he's ever ready to protect us, provide for us in every possible way. And point us to the right direction in our journey to our earthly and eternal promised land. In life, among other things, it takes prayer and grace to move forward. Hebrew 4.16, New Living Translation says, So let us come boldly to the throne of gracious God. There we will receive his mercy and find grace to help when we need it most. Also, grace has been defined as the power for the powerless, Help for the helpless and hope for the hopeless. Equally, grace is the surest, shortest, and cheapest way to greatness. I read somewhere that grace is the maker of man and the placer of man. It's the one that makes the man and it's the one that places the man. You know. For us, 
to experience glorious things or wonderful things in our lives and missions this year. We need the outpouring of the spirit of grace and prayer that will help us to defeat the kingdom of Satan in all their nefarious activities. Um, Luke 13, 17. That is the story of where Jesus healed that crippled woman. She was crippled for 38 years and was still coming to pray. Uh, when he did it, the Pharisees were saying, why should you heal on a Sabbath day? But brethren, the, the enemy, the Satan has crippled him. The will of Satan is for her to remain like that she, she, she died until Jesus came and overturned that with prayer. So it was, report, it was you know, written that they, became, they were humiliated. So when we pray and defeat the, and, and overturn what the devil wants us for us, it will be humiliated, it will be disgraced. The enemy will be disgraced because our prayer, I mean, will have effects to overturn what they, you know, their plan. Today, Satan and his kingdom want to keep the believers from praying without ceasing, purposefully, aggressively, determined, determinedly, perseveringly, and also from investing enough time in their prayer. Yes, the devil is doing all he can to make believers in Christ to faint, to lose heart, and give up in the place of prayer. This is in line with the observation that is um, Luke 18.1. That is when Jesus was saying that um, we should always pray without fainting, without giving up. And he was using the parable of the uh, widow that went to that uh, evil judge. That she kept on persistently saying, take my cause, give me any justice. So this is in line with the observation of Sidlow Baxter when he said, surely the devil must say to his demon servants, keep them from praying. Because if we keep them from praying, we can beat them every time. But if they pray, they will beat us every time. Late evangelist um, Rena Bronke said that when you pray, Satan becomes a prey and his agent. But when you don't pray, you become a prey to Satan. You know, he's bombarding you left and right. So, when we pray, we are enforcing the will of God to prevail over the will of Satan and causing the will of God to be done rather than the will of Satan. That is what prayer is. Prayer is spiritual. So, it needs more energy for us to stay awake, to be alert, to pray. The devil never wants the believers to beat him any time, talk less every time. So possessing the spirit of grace and prayer will help believers to defeat the devil and his demons in the place of prayer and therefore defeating them every time. The spirit of grace and prayer inspires, motivates, empowers, and energizes believers to pray, to pray through and to pray always without ceasing and fainting until we get the result. This was what Elijah did to pray for seven times, full prayer to pray through. If he had stopped at the sixth or the fifth or sixth times, the promised rain will never have fallen. When God pours his spirit of grace and prayer upon us, it will empower us to pray until something happens. It will help us to overcome whatever it is that is weakening or limiting our effectiveness in prayer. It will make us to get uncommon results from our praying. It will make praying to become natural as breathing. It will make us to pray violently and persistently. To make us to pray like the biblical heroes of prayer. The examples of them is our Lord Jesus Christ, pray all the time. Elijah on Mount Carmel prayed. Daniel, we have a lot of examples of people that are praying in the, in the scriptures. And, you know, Matthew 11, 30, I mean 12 says, From the days of John the Baptist until present time, the kingdom of of, um, the kingdom of heaven has endured violent assault and violent men seize it by force. There is nothing on earth that Satan fears, uh, this is just my note, so much as prayer. It is through channel of prayer that we use, we have the blood of Jesus, we have the um, name of um, Jesus, we have the word of God. We use that through prayer. So the, the channel to use all those weapons is through prayer. So we have to engage all the time in praying. The spirit was upon David who prayed evening, morning, and noon and cried aloud every day, as we read in Psalm 55, 17. The spirit draws us mightily to God. 
God hears prayer, God hears prayer, God answers prayer, and God delivers by prayer. This spirit makes us to be strong in the place of prayer. Equally, if we are busy to pray, we will be busy to live a holy life. Holy living is an essential preparation for prayer. I wrote a note there that Genesis 6, 8. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. It was report, recorded concerning him. He was righteous. He was upright. He was working with God. Among, when God wanted to destroy a whole nation, the, the whole nation, the world, he found one person because he, to receive grace because of his holiness and righteousness. So it's not only enough to pray, but we have to live a holy life. Praying without season is the surest way to move forward in life and the safe way to avoid highway to backsliding. Being too busy to pray for any reason. So receive today the outpouring of the spirit of grace and prayer to keep you praying without season, winning without regretting and advancing positively, positively in every front without stopping in Jesus' name. Amen. Before we go to prayer, I ask this question. Is anyone here who has not received Christ in, in his or her life, are you, not, are you born again? If you are not born again, what we are talking about, because in, um, in John, first John chapter 1 verse 17 says, For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. So anyone who doesn't have Jesus Christ in his or her life cannot receive this grace we are talking about, cannot receive this spirit of prayer. So is anyone here that has not given their life to Christ, this is the time that we can, you know, pray so that we can receive. When we pray, we pray together. And, you know, let us, let us stand up and pray. Prayer point number one. Let's read it together and pray. Because of, because of time, we don't have much time because there's going to be ministration. After this, there's going to be ministration. So prayer point number one. Give thanks to God for all his goodness in your life, family, and for the great things he has done for the church. In, in, um, in year 29, Father, Lord, we thank you, O Lord. We bless your holy name, O Lord. We, we thank you, O Lord, for what you have done in our lives individually. Oh, yes, in our family lives, O Lord, in the life of our children, oh, in the life of our spouses, our siblings, our eighty family friends, one in, in 2019. Ah, you have kept and you have protected them, O Lord. You have provided for them, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you, O Lord. We thank you for what you have done, O Lord. Great things that you have done in our church. Oh, yes, O Lord. We bless your holy name. We thank you, O Lord. We are appreciative of it, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, O Lord, that we, we say through 2019, O Lord, on hurt and on injured because you are there, providing for us, protecting us, oh, keeping us, upholding us, fighting our battles, oh, healing us. Oh, Lord, we thank you. We bless you, O Lord. We thank you, O Lord. We are appreciative, O Lord. We thank you, O Lord. Lord, we thank you. We are so grateful, O Lord. On behalf of every member of our, of, of our House of Chain Baltimore, our ministers, O Lord, we thank you. On behalf of their family, we thank you. On behalf of every member, men, women, children, O youth, we thank you. We thank you, O Lord. We thank you. We praise your holy name. We bless you that we are still standing because they reported that every year about 4,000 churches are closing down. But we are still standing and still strong. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you our adoration. Let's go to number two. Give thanks to God for what he will do in our prayers during this victory month. Prayer and fasting. Father, Lord, we are thanking you, O Lord. For what you are going to do in our midst, in our prayer, oh Lord, because you are answering God, you are um, prayer answering God. We thank you, O Lord, for what you are going to do. Because when you call upon you, we sh you shall answer us. When we ask, we shall receive. When we seek, we shall find. When we knock, the door shall be open. We have come to all oh, to you this month, this victory month, O oh Lord. As we call upon you, O oh Lord, we are thanking you in advance for what you are going to do in our midst. Father, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we bless your holy name. We give you glory. Prayer point number three. Give thanks to God for he answers prayers and that he will expressly answer all our prayers this year. Starting with this victory month. Father Lord, we thank you, O Lord, because we have seen what you have done, O Lord. We, have, we are recipients of answered prayers. Father, O Lord, and we know you will do the same thing for us this year. In the name of Jesus. Father, we give thanks to you, O Lord, for you answer prayers and you expressly answer all our prayers this year. Starting, starting with this prayer month, in victory month, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, O Lord. We bless your holy name. We bless you, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, 
We know you will answer us. We, are conf- we have confidence in that. Oh, yes, oh, Lord. And we thank you. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name. Prayer point number four. Lord, by your mercy, prefer me from every sin that will make my prayer not to be acceptable unto you. Um, let, them, let me see John 3, 8 says, even when I cry and shout for help, it shuts out my prayers. And we know it's in the Bible that the prayer of the sinner is an abomination to God. He will not answer us. So let us come because we want him to answer. We want to receive. Our coming out will not be in vain. By the time we leave out, we are going out with the garment of, 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 uh, of prayer. Lord, by your mercy, purify me from every sin that will make my prayer not to be acceptable unto you. Father, Lord, God, every sin, oh, Lord, any hidden sin, oh, yes, oh, Lord, any error, any iniquity in me, oh, Lord. Father, purify me, oh, Lord. Purify me, oh, Lord. Anything that will not make you uh, hear my prayer, answer our prayer tonight, oh, Lord, we have come, oh, Lord, collectively, oh, Lord. In the name of Jesus, purify us, oh, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Any sin, oh, Lord, anything that's going to stand between our prayer or not being answered, that's not acceptable to you, oh, Lord. Father, purify us, oh, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Purify us, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Let it cleanse our sin, O oh Lord. Cleanse us, O oh Lord. Purge us, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. With the blood of Jesus. Anything and everything, O oh Lord, that will not let our prayer to be acceptable unto you tonight, O oh Lord. You say, by your mercy, O oh Lord, purify us. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Prayer point number five. Father, destroy whatever is attacking my prayer and devotional life. Let us introspectively look at what is attacking our prayer life. Is it a lack of, is it sleepiness, lack of motivation, whatever it is that is attacking our prayer life and devotional life? Let's ask the God, Lord, to destroy because we want to leave this place, oh Lord, possessing the spirit of prayer and the spirit of grace. Father, Lord, we come before you. Anything that is preventing us, oh Lord, to, to our devotional life, our prayer life that is attacking it, Father, Lord God, we ask, oh Lord, destroy it, oh Lord, destroy it. Whatever is attacking my prayer life and devotional life, Father, in the name of Jesus, destroy it, O oh Lord. Destroy it, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want to pray without ceasing. I want to praise without ceasing. Anything that is attacking my prayer life. Anything that is attacking my devotional life. Oh, yes, O oh Lord. That will not let me have time. Ah, Lord God, take it away from me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Any procrastination. I will do it at 5 o'clock. I will do it at 6 o'clock. And then after I say, oh, God, by Plus Jesus minus Satan. And then that is it. That is not. Anything that is attacking my prayer life. Anything that is attacking my devotional life. Father, take it away from me. Is it lack of motivation? Father, motivate me. In the name of Jesus. Destroy it, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. Prayer point number six. Father, heal any weakness in me that makes prayer to be very difficult for me. It could be some people maybe. It could be sickness or whatever, you know. It could be discouragement, lack of patience. Boarding yokes. We want God to heal us of any weakness in us that makes prayer to be very difficult for us. Let us turn to prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we, your children, we have come before you, O Lord. We say, heal us, O Lord. Any weakness in us, O Lord, that makes prayer to be very difficult for us. In the name of Jesus, heal me, O Lord. Any weakness in me that makes prayer to be very difficult for me. So now, Father, in the name of Jesus, heal me, O Lord. Heal me, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. I want to be able to pray. I want to be able to pray without ceasing. I want to be able to have or to pray with ease. Oh, yes, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Anything in me, O Lord, anything, O Lord, that makes prayer to be very difficult for me. Lord God, heal me tonight. Heal me of any weakness, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Heal me, O Lord. Heal me, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Prayer point number seven. Father, deliver me from whatever is weakening or limiting my effectiveness in prayer. Deliver me from whatever is weakening. Is it malice? You cannot have malice and then you are praying and God is looking at Is it anxiety? Is it worries? Is it weariness? Is it anger? Unforgiveness? Is it sin? Not, not, fu- not fulfilling your vows. Lack of w- uh, word of God. Sword of the Spirit. Isaiah 59, 1, 2 says, Behold, the Lord's hand is not shutting at all that it cannot save, nor is here door that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have made, have made a separation between you and God, and your sins are feeding his way from you that he will not hear. Father, Lord God, tonight, O oh Lord, we ask in the name of Jesus, deliver us from every, whatever is weakening or limiting our effectiveness in prayer. 
In the name of Jesus, we want to pray effective prayer, O Lord, that availeth much. In the name of Jesus, whatever O Lord is preventing us, O Lord, from from making uh, praying effectively. Tonight, deliver us. Tonight, deliver us. Tonight, deliver us. In the name of Jesus. In the name of deliver us, O Lord. Deliver us, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Prayer point number eight. Father, pour upon me the spirit of grace and prayer to keep praying without ceasing and fainting. Let us turn into prayer. We need, the, we need God to pour upon us the spirit of grace and prayer to keep praying without ceasing and fainting. So the prayer to be so easy for us in the name of Jesus. Father, pour upon me, O Lord, the spirit of grace, the spirit of grace and spirit of prayer to keep on praying without ceasing, without fainting in the name of Jesus. Pour upon each and every one of us, O Lord, tonight. The spirit of grace and prayer to keep praying without ceasing. In the name of Jesus. To keep praying without fainting, without getting tired. In the name of Jesus. Father, we have come before you tonight to receive the strength. To receive the strength, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Give us, O oh Lord, pour upon us the spirit of grace and power. To keep praying without ceasing, without fainting, without weariness, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Make prayer easy for us, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Give us that spirit of grace. The grace, O oh Lord, to pray without ceasing. Oh, pour it upon us, O oh Lord. Pour it upon each and every one of us, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Prayer point number nine. Give me enough grace to generate overcoming power. To overcome all or, or escape all trials, problems, difficulties, and their situations that I come across in my journey to greatness and eternity. All this will come. There will be trials, there will be problems, there will be difficulties. But what we are saying is, because we are children of God, we know we can receive that grace and the power to overcome that. So let us pray. Father, give me enough grace to generate overcoming power, to overcome or escape all trials, all problems, difficulties, situations, that situation, challenges that have come across in my journey to greatness in the name of Jesus. Every challenge is, oh yes, oh Lord, in every area of our life. Is it challenges with our children? Is it challenges with our ministry, our marriages? Whatever challenges, oh Lord. God can give us that grace to overcome it. That grace to overcome it. We receive tonight in the name of Jesus. We receive tonight in the name of Jesus. Grace to generate overcoming power to overcome all, all and escape all trials. In the name of Jesus. We come... We receive it tonight. We receive it tonight. In the name of Jesus. In our journey to greatness and, and, and um, eternity, O oh Lord. Any talents that come our way, O oh Lord, Father, we receive the grace tonight. In the name of Jesus. We will not run away from it. We will overcome it by your power that we are receiving tonight. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We receive grace, O oh Lord. We receive that power, O oh Lord, to overcome all challenges, to overcome difficulties, problems that we have. Any area of our life. Is it, is it spiritual problem? Is it problem that for our health, is it probably in our marriages, is ministry, whatever area, oh Lord, we receive the grace, oh Lord, to overcome it and we generate power to overcome it in the name of Jesus. Father, Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. In Jesus' name, amen. Prayer point number 11. Father, cause us to experience glorious and wonderful things in our lives and mission this year through our ceaseless prayer. Amen. We are receiving the power to pray, the grace to pray. So we pray ceaselessly. We will not call prayer, prayer, prayer meeting and we're giving excuses. I, I'm, I'm just saying this. I'm, I'm not in, I, mean, um, I don't know who even mentioned it that we have, we have our, our snow is too many. Five snows in a year and we are complaining already. We need to have snow every month. We need prayer. With all this that is happening, all this Iranian thing is very scary. We need prayer. So we are going to say collectively, Father, cause us to experience glorious and wonderful things in our lives and mission this year through our ceaseless prayer. Pray, Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, oh Lord, cause us to experience glorious and wonderful things in our lives and mission this year through our ceaseless prayer. As we pray unto you, oh Lord, Father, you answer us, oh Lord. Father, in the name of give us the strength, oh Lord, the enablement to come together and pray in the name of Jesus. When Peter was taken and they prayed for Peter, oh yes, oh Lord, he was released. He was released. Father, oh Lord, we will pray this year. We will pray, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of us to experience glorious and wonderful things in our lives and mission this year. Through our ceaseless prayer, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, for our, for, our, for this church, 
for us of Chain Baltimore. In the name of Jesus, we experience glorious and wonderful things, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. Prayer point number 10, 12. Lord, the host of hell will not succeed in keeping me from praying regularly. Hard, hot, and prevailing prayer this year and beyond. Prevailing prayer. As we say it, and God gives, on, gives it unto us, that, that um, the power and the grace to pray that if every prayer, you shall remain with us in the name of Jesus. Father, let, let us turn into prayer. Lord, the host of hell will not succeed in keeping me from praying regularly, from praying hard, hot, and prevailing this year. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We receive the grace, O oh Lord. We receive the grace to pray prevailing prayer. In the name of Jesus. We receive it, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. The grace to pray prevailing prayer. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hot and prevailing prayer this year. We receive in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I want to read this. I want to read the scripture. Isaiah 62, 6 and 7. The Lord says, um, I have posted watchmen to your walls, to Jerusalem. They will never be silent day or night. You who call on the Lord, give yourself no rest. And give him, give God no rest until he establishes Jerusalem and make her the praise of the earth. God said we should not give him rest and we should not rest. So we are, we are supposed to be praying ceaselessly. That is the word of God. So let us, let us um, pray. God grant me the prayer point number 13. Grant me the outpouring of the spirit of grace and prayer to defeat the devil and his host in the place of prayer this year and beyond. Let us turn into prayer. Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, grant me the outpouring of the spirit of grace and prayer to defeat the devil and his host. In the place of prayer in the, this year, in the name of and beyond. Father, Lord God, grant us, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Grant me, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. The spirit, outpouring of the spirit of grace and prayer. In the name of Jesus. Because we know we are not wrestling with flesh and blood, but with powers, with, with, um, with, with the spirit. We know with the devil, in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord God, give us the spirit, O Lord. The spirit, O Lord, of grace and prayer to defeat the devil and his host in the place of prayer this year and beyond. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We are wrestling, O Lord, with the powers and principalities. Also, wickedness in, 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 in high places. Father, give us the spirit, the, the spirit and the grace, O Lord, to overcome them, to overcome those powers. In the name of Jesus. This year and beyond. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Prayer point number 14. Holy Spirit, empower us never to become weak in the place of prayer and also not to become too busy to pray. We're receiving the empowerment of the Holy Spirit tonight in the name of Jesus, never to be weak in place of prayer. The devil does not want us to pray at all. So he's, he's wearing us, bringing different things. This, that, those phones that we keep, we keep in our hand, you are praying, you are using the Bible to, 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 pray, to read the Bible, things are coming in. After a while, you just forget what you are doing or checking WhatsApp. Those are the little, little, you know, subtle ways that is introducing um, distractions that we don't have time to pray. But God and the Holy Spirit is going to empower us never to be weak in the place of prayer and also not to be too busy to pray. Let us, let us turn into prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, O Lord. Ah, empower me, O Lord. Never to become weak in the place of prayer. Also, never to be too busy to pray. I ask in the name of Jesus. I ask in the name of Jesus because I know when you when I pray you answer, O Lord, in the name of Jesus, and you are interested in every area of our life. In the name of Jesus, we receive that spirit, Holy Spirit, empower us tonight, empower us tonight, empower us tonight. No, yes, not to become weak in the place of prayer. Also, not to become too busy to pray. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we receive the strength to pray. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, prayer point number 15. Father, bestow upon us the grace to move forward in every area of our lives. Let us pray. It. We receive the grace to move. We receive the grace and the power to pray. When we pray, God answers. So we receive the grace to move forward. So grace to move forward in every area of our life. We are moving forward spiritually. We are moving forward ministerially, maritally. We are moving forward in, um, in, um, in, our, in, our, in our finances. 
we are moving forward in every area of our life. In our health, we are moving forward in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every area of our life, we are moving forward. In ideas, oh yes, we are moving forward. We are not stagnant. We receive that grace to move forward. We receive that grace to move forward. I will say we are moving forward. Let us move forward. Lord, let us stand in one place. Because it's prophetic. We are receiving that grace to move forward. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every area of our life, we are moving forward. In the name of Jesus. We receive the grace, O oh Lord. Oh, yes, O oh Lord. Bestow upon each and every one of us to move forward in every area of our lives. In every area of our lives, in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Be upon, I mean, number 16. O oh Lord, cause my need to receive power of God. My heart to receive fire of Holy Spirit. My mouth to receive grace of Christ. And my hand to receive divine touch. My need to receive power of God. That is, I will travel in prayer. Let us turn into prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, cause us, O oh Lord, as I stand above you tonight, O oh Lord, cause me, O oh Lord, to my need to receive power of God, to need and pray, prevailing prayer, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Elijah was like a man like us. He prayed the prevailing prayer. Ah, he stopped the rain. And when the rain was coming again, he prayed a prevailing prayer. In, uh, he, was, he, he stood down to pray. Give us knee, O oh Lord, to pray, O oh Lord. Oh, to, to, I need to receive power of God to pray in the name of Jesus. Prevailing prayer. Our heart to receive fire of the Holy Ghost. Oh, yes, O oh Lord. Turn us to fire in the name of Jesus. Set us on fire for you. The fire of our prayer, O oh Lord, will not go down. We will not be burnt out in the name of Jesus. Let our hearts receive fire. The fire to pray. The fire, O oh Lord, to prevail in the name of Jesus. Cause our mouth to receive the grace of God, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Our hand to receive divine touch in the name of Jesus. When we place our hands on the sick, oh yes, oh Lord, the hands of Jesus will be on there. The anointing, but will come upon it, oh Lord. We receive it now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Pierre upon number 17. Dear Father, release upon me ultimate resources that will make my prayer life a producer of glorious results. As I continue to seek your face more than ever before in Jesus' mighty name. Let's turn it to prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, release upon me, O Lord, ultimate resources. Everything I need, O Lord, that will make my prayer life a producer of glorious results. As I continue to seek your face, O Lord, in the name of Jesus, everything I need, ultimate resources, all every resources I need, O Lord, in the name of Jesus, that will make my prayer life like producer of glorious results. As I continue to seek your face more than ever before in this in this month mountain, O oh Lord, this month, O oh Lord, and beyond. Father, O oh Lord, we have started, O oh Lord, with prayer. We have started, O oh Lord, with that grace. Father, O oh Lord, give us in that momentum, O oh Lord. In that name of Jesus, he brings upon us ultimate resources that will make our life prayer life a producer of glorious results. As we continue to seek your face more than ever before, in the name of Jesus. From now, O oh Lord, and forevermore. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we bless your holy name because you know we have received from you right now. Oh, yes, Lord, we have possessed, oh, Lord, that spirit of grace, that spirit of power, power, oh, Lord, prayer to prevail in the name of Jesus. Lord, give you glory, honor, adoration in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. We have a special administration here. That everybody, everyone, um, each, each, each and every one of us should come to the altar to... Uh, those who need increased grace and prayer to pray better, to come forward and, um, and uh, receive that grace. I don't know if, um, if you have been praying, if you've been praying... Uh, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour, and you want God to give us, to give you that grace. I want you to please come forward. For man, it is difficult. It is difficult. But when God gives you the grace, you will wonder where you got the power from. You will kneel down and you, by the time you look at the time, you can see that three hours has already passed. There is something we call a spiritual energy. Spiritual energy. It happens when God sets your heart on fire. When God sets your heart on fire, when God burdens your heart, 
regarding issues that needs to be resolved, God is always looking for watchmen. He said, because in, in the book of Ezekiel, he said, I sought for a man. He said, I sought for a man, someone that will intercede, someone that will stand in the gap. And because he could not find anyone, he had to destroy the city. We need to pray. We need to, we need grace. We need grace. Jesus, Jesus was telling the, the, uh, uh, the, the, the disciples, he said that don't go forth without receiving the power of the Holy Spirit. It is the Holy Spirit that gives us the grace. It is the Holy Spirit that gives us the enablement. It is the Holy Spirit that empowers us to pray even when we are weak. It is the Holy Spirit that nudges us. Is the one that wakes us up in the middle of the night. Is the one that energizes us. And he is the supplier of that grace. I want you to please pray that, Father, give me that grace tonight. I have come unto you. You are the one that gives the grace to pray. You are the one that gives the pray. You are the one that gives the grace to engage in spiritual activities, in, in praying, in fasting, in meditating on the Word of God. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, come afresh upon me in the precious name of Jesus. Father, let the fire of the Holy Spirit descend upon us tonight. Father, we are here, O oh Lord, because you are the one that supplies the grace. You are the one that supplies the grace. You are the one that gives the grace. Father, we don't want to go back, O oh Lord, the same way we came. Father, we don't want to be struggling in the place of prayer. Father, we don't want a situation where whenever we take our Bibles, that is when sleep comes. We don't want a situation when we lift up our voices in prayer. That is when tiredness and fatigue will come. But Father, we pray, Lord God, for spiritual energy. We ask that the fire of the Holy Spirit will consume every weakness. We ask that the fire of the Holy Ghost will consume every work of the enemy. In the precious name of Jesus, that enabling grace, Father, Lord, bestow upon us this, this tonight. In the precious name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, bestow upon us in the mighty name of Jesus. We need you to enable us. We need you to help us. In the precious name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, help us, Lord. Lift up your voices and begin to pray in the Spirit, that the enabling Spirit, the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, we enable us in the mighty name of Jesus. Zeketeri breke po zoto ye breke po zoko shanda ya braka bo fre pe kisa ta ya braka po zoso so se pe ko ko ya for in Jesus precious name we are praying spirit of the living god fall afresh on me
The Bible said, Jesus Christ, he went to the, into the temple. And he was given the scriptures. And he opened in that place where it was written. He said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he has anointed me. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. Holy Spirit, breathe upon your people tonight. As from today, let there be a difference in their prayer life. Let there be a difference in their study life. Father, I pray. This is what you have done to me, O oh Lord. Lord, I pray, O oh Lord, that you extend it, Lord, to this, your great people. That whenever they get into your presence, let your hands, O oh Lord, be wide open to embrace them. Let them begin to experience you in a different way. Let them begin to long for your presence. Father, as they open, O oh Lord, their mouth to pray unto you, let the heavens be open. Father, by the reason of your grace, by the reason of your anointing in the name of Jesus, Lord, let there be immediate answers, O oh Lord, to their prayers. Let it be evident, O oh Lord, that you are with them. Father, I ask that you baptize them with your presence in the name of Jesus. Lord, as from today, Lord, Read upon them, O oh Lord, the grace to be able to pray even for longer times in your presence in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. As many people, O oh Lord, that are kneeling in front of you right now, Jesus, that are yet to receive the power and the baptism of the Holy Spirit, receive it now. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Father, because you have breathed upon your people's spiritual strength, spiritual energy to begin to do the things that they've not been able to do before in the precious name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because, oh Lord, you have created that hunger in them to be able, Lord, to read your word, to meditate on your word, to receive revelations from you in the precious name of Jesus. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. As from today, as, 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 as they step out, oh Lord, from here, Lord, let the power, the presence of the Holy Spirit begin to over around them, oh Lord, like a dove. In the precious name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you all the praise. Thank you, Father Lord. To you be all the glory and honor. Thank you for your servant that you have used for us today. Bless her in the name of Jesus. Increase her in the name of Jesus. Anoint her afresh in Jesus' name. Father, this year, all our prayer requests, Lord, give attention to them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let, you, let this year be a year of supernatural turnaround in every area of our life. In the name of Jesus. To you be all the glory and praise. For in Jesus' precious name we are prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We give God all the praise. Let's give, Lord, let's give the Lord a hand tonight. Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory and honor. And let's bring out our offering. Father, we thank you for the grace, the opportunity to give. We ask, oh Lord Jesus, that you bless, Lord, our, our sources of income in the name of Jesus. Help us, to, help us never to know any form of lack in Jesus' name. We give you all the glory and praise. Thank you, Father Lord, for in Jesus' precious name we are prayed. Amen. Hallelujah.